Question four on the practice exam is a confidence interval for estimating the true population standard deviation. In this case, of course, we're going to work with variance because we can't work directly with standard deviation, but we can get there at the end. So we've got 15 bus trips that have been sampled, and we're testing how what the variation is in their arrival times. S is 6.2 minutes. They want to do a 90% confidence interval estimate for the true population standard deviation. Okay. First part, very simple, right? Degrees of freedom equals n minus 1. There were 15 trips sampled. 15 minus 1 equals 14. Okay, we need to know degrees of freedom to use the chi-square table to get our appropriate values. And remember, in this case, we're going to be working with two values with a confidence interval estimate an upper and a lower. Alright, so that's the next thing we'll do is we'll identify the chi-square upper and lower limit values for this confidence interval. Alright, so we have a 90% confidence interval which means alpha equals 0 0.10. Okay, so 1 minus 0.9 is 0 0.10, that's the alpha, that's the area outside of the confidence interval. Now in a Two, uh, when we're doing two tails, in this case, with confidence interval has an upper and lower value, we need to divide that alpha area by 2. So alpha over 2 equals 0.05. The reason I mention this is because we're going to need it to find our upper and lower chi-square values. So let's take a closer look at that now, if it will let me. Um, all right. So. In the first case here, alpha over 2 is 0.05, and our degrees of freedom is 14. So in this, oh, let me get the pen back. Okay, here we go. In this column here, and line it up with degrees of freedom of 14. So here then is our upper chi-square value. And then to find the lower one, we're going to use this equation here to find the right column, excuse me, not the equation, 1 over, uh, or excuse me, 1 minus alpha over 2. So 1 minus 0.05, our alpha over 2 value, is 0.95. Right, so that's the column we want. So here is our lower limit value, 6.5706. 6 so we've got our two values now, and where these will come into play are in this equation right here. We're going to use the the uh, upper value here as the denominator and the lower value here as the denominator in this equation to find our confidence interval. All right, so let's do that. So our, our numerator then, well, let me, let me uh, say this, or uh, say it this way. Our denominators are going to be 23.6848 variance, okay, less than or equal to, and then our other denominator was 6.5706. All right. Looking back at the equation up here, the numerator in both is the same. So we'll calculate that once now. Let's do that. Move this over a little bit. So we have our value for s is 6.2. We'll have to square that. And then degrees of freedom, of course, was 15 minus 1. So we're going to have 14 times 6.2 squared. And let's calculate that now. So 14 times... 6.2 squared is 538.16. 538.16. Let's move this over a little bit. 538.16. All right. So now if we calculate those values, our lower limit, you divide 538.16 by 23.6848, and you get something like 
seven two one seven less than or equal to sigma squared or the variance. Oh. Erase that. Less than or equal to and then we divide five thirty eight point one six by six point five seven oh six, we get eighty one point nine zero four two. All right, so, and these are, the, the, the terms here are minutes squared, right? Was this, this was the variation in the arrival for the bus time. So if you wanted to put this then into, into actual minutes rather than minutes squared, you could just take the square root of both of these values here, and you would get something like 4.77 minutes, and then that would just be the standard deviation, and then this would be, 9.05 let's say. So overall you would say the variance is between 22.72 and 81.9 minutes squared or between 4.77 and 9.05 minutes.